Wallen. She has run every Bear Grease since 1995. Oh my God. A passion for races that she shares with her entire family. We've got a lot of good training miles. We've got just as many or more training miles on our team this year. As we did last year, we've had a lot of young dogs really come around. I think I'll have seven or eight yearlings on my team, and so just enough room for a few more leaders. Um, I got my old girl, Happy, she's eight. She'll be probably leading me out of the chute. And then I'll try to rotate some young dogs into lead, but they're eating well, they're looking well, they're pulling hard, they're happy, and that's the most important thing. He's 19 years old, grew up in the Wallen family tradition of running dogs, and he says nothing can beat it. He's a slugger for baseball, and he's going to hit a home run today. Errol Wallen, ladies and gentlemen. We had a really good team this year. Super excited about it. A lot of young dogs, a lot of young talent, mixed with a lot of good seasoned veterans. So I'm excited to get out there and run. Obviously last year, finishing side by side with my mom was probably something that might never happen again. The finish last year, to be part of it. It almost felt like it was a movie come to life in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that we'll ever see that again, but it was pretty amazing. A few people asked me, you know, why didn't you pull over and let your son finish ahead of you? And I just told him because he would have never allowed it. Woo! All right! We just ran our teams the way we trained them, and as it turned out, you know, we were number three and number four, very close. But to be able to be there to watch him come in was, I can't even explain it. It was just very moving. It was really awesome. It was unbelievable. When we left the last checkpoint, 20 seconds apart. Get in it, Ward. <laughs> We knew it was going to be a pretty exciting finish, and that's exactly what it was. And I wouldn't have traded or done anything different. It's a loving board. <laughs> when he decided he wanted to run the marathon, he put his hands on my shoulders and he said, uh, But if you're going to be worried about me out there or scared for me out there, I'm not doing it. So I said, okay, I'm not. I don't worry about him. Of course, hope and pray for safety for him and all the mushers. But it's really, really cool knowing he's out there. I'm doing what he's doing, he's doing what I'm doing, you know, at the same time. When it's your lifestyle, when our boys were small, I mean, we'd have to keep Arrow's boots by the door because Ward would be up doing chores at 5.30 and there's Arrow toddling out to the dog yard and he knew where to sit. We had a puppy pen, we turned into Arrow's playpen, you know, so he'd just be out in the dog yard. So when you grow up around it, it's a pretty cool thing to want to do, you know. What has you most confident about this year? The dogs are looking a lot better than they have, it seems like, in different years. It's probably just because they've hit kind of like their prime age, and like I said earlier, mixed with a lot of younger dogs. All of them have finished baby. So we got a lot of knowledge, and then we got a lot of the speed that the younger dogs bring, so they seem to mold pretty well. <laughs> sure you'd like to beat mom, right? I'd love to beat mom, but I liked to beat mom last year, and it didn't work either, so. We'll see how this one works out. I asked him, he wants to beat mom. I imagine you want to beat son. <laughs> yeah, that, not the goal. We're having a race! But at this point, you know, dog racing is dog racing. You just, you never know what's going to happen. You know, we had, what, three, four, five of the mushers scratch last year at Trail Center, and then all of a sudden, you're like, who are you going to finish ahead of? Who's going to finish ahead of you? But yeah, I, uh, yeah, bring it on. Bring on a little competition. I'll give it a go. I'll try to finish ahead of him.